There are moments when luck, timing, and chance interwine so perfectly that they change our world forever. For example, it is often not trained archaeologists and scientists, but sheer coincidence that brings many a historical sensation and revolutionary invention to light. From the secrets of the Laco Cave to the groundbreaking discovery of penicillin, sit back and get ready to learn about 11 coincidences that turned our lives upside down. The Microwave When we want to reheat the previous day's meal or a snack, the trip to the microwave is not far. But although the compact ovens have a permanent place in most households, probably few have ever wondered who we actually have to thank for this practical device. But don't worry, we'll shed some light on the subject. The forefather of the microwave oven is Percy LaBaron Spencer, who received the patent for his invention on January 24, 1950. But Spencer never intended to revolutionize kitchen equipment. He was originally employed at a military research laboratory of the U.S. company Raytheon to test radar systems for monitoring warplanes. And as fate would have it, this involved an electronic tube that generated microwaves. During his test, Percy finally made a strange observation. The chocolate he happened to have in his pants pocket began to melt. The corn kernels that soon flew around the lab in the form of popcorn left no doubt that microwave radiation was responsible for the unexpected spectacle. Okay, granted, the original microwave still had quite little to do with its modern counterparts. For example, Spencer's original device was still 1.8 meters high and weighed almost 350 kilos. In the 1960s, the Litton Industries Company finally designed the compact box design. Penicillin In February 1941, dramatic scenes played out in the life of police officer Albert Alexander. After a small scratch on his face became infected with bacteria, Albert was on the verge of death. Since no treatment was effective, the doctors decided to take an experimental approach. They injected the terminally ill man with 160 milligrams of a novel substance called penicillin. Lo and behold, the high fever disappeared within a day and Albert's purulent abscesses miraculously began to heal. However, this is only half the truth because the doctors used poorly purified penicillin and the treatment period was too short at five days. The story did not have a happy ending. But although the first penicillin patient ultimately died, the foundation for the antibiotics triumphant advance had been laid. And that, who would have thought it in a view of our present topic, was due to a happy coincidence. In 1928, the British physician and bacteriologist Alexander Fleming suffered a minor mishap. Before leaving on vacation, he forgot to dispose of some culture dishes containing staphylococci. Back at his workspace, Fleming then noticed a striking detail. Mold had grown in some of the dishes, but there were no staphylococci around the edge of the mold. Post-it In 1968, chemist Spencer Silver was at his wit's end. He had failed to complete a company's assignment, which was to develop a superglue that was stronger and more powerful than anything on the market. Instead, Silver created the exact opposite, an adhesive that adheres but peels off effortlessly. The fact that the post-it grew out of this involuntary invention is in turn thanks to a kind of divine enlightenment. During a church service, Silver's colleague, Arthur Fry, was once again annoyed that the bookmarks kept falling out of the choir books. But then he remembered the mixture Fry had recently cobbled together. From then on, the two men worked together, and in 1980, they finally succeeded in convincing their superiors to bring post-it pads to market. Harbin Skull in the early 1930s, a Chinese worker devotes himself to building the Sajong Bridge near the city of Harbin, as he often does. But then his gaze touches something in the river mud that would never have been expected, an almost complete skull that looks somehow human, but with its elongated shape and distinctive over-eye bulges, still seems strangely alien. To prevent the find from falling into the hands of the Japanese occupiers, the man decides to hide the skull in a disused well and to reveal its secret only on his deathbed. Thus it comes that the scientists argue at present heatedly about the true background of the Harbin skull. Above all, one question moves into the corner of the discussions. Is the classification as a new human species, Homo longi, correct? 
How can it be that the individual shows both primeval and modern characteristics? Will we ever succeed in deciphering its unique position in the hominid family tree? If and when all these questions will be answered is currently still written in the stars. However, the bizarre skull once again makes us aware of one fact. Our own evolutionary history is still accompanied by enormous mysteries. Dead Sea Scrolls The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls is one of the most significant archaeological finds of the 20th century. According to it, the ancient texts have deepened our knowledge of Judaism and early Christianity in a lasting way. But did you know that we owe this sensational discovery to a goat? If you follow the story, in 1947, a shepherd from the Ta'amiri tribe set out to find a runaway goat. While the Bedouin was looking among the crumbling rocks near Qumram, he came across a cave in this crevice of the hillside. Thereupon, the man threw a stone into the dark interior and recoiled in surprise when he subsequently heard the sound of breaking vessels. Entering the cave eventually revealed a number of mysterious clay containers. In the aftermath, the Bedouins managed to recover a total of seven scrolls from the surrounding caves. Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone, or in other words, the key to the translation of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. The fact that the stella fragment opens the doors to days long past is due to the fact that it contains three inscriptions in three different languages, in hieroglyphics, in demotic, and in Greek. Scholars had no trouble deciphering the Greek text and thus uncovering the sensation it contained. It was written there that one and the same decision should have been written down in three scripts. Thus it was clear that the hieroglyphs must have the same content as the other two texts. And what about history of the discovery? Well, it is certain that the stone was found in July 1799 by a French officer named Pierre-Francois Bouchard, near the eponymous city of Rosetta. However, two versions circulate about the exact circumstances of the discovery. The first says that Bouchard discovered the artifact during construction work. The alternative, on the other hand, is that it was his horse that stumbled upon the stone, revolutionizing our historical knowledge. Cave at La Coe. Marcel Rivadat, George Agniel, Simon Coancas, and Jacques Marshall. This is the legendary quartet that tracked down the world-famous Loco Cave. However, they were by no means trained explorers, but ordinary teenagers who in 1940 had noticed a hole in the ground opening up by a fallen pine tree. The rest of the story is well known. Inside the cave, the four friends stumbled upon millennia-old paintings from the recent Paleolithic period, depicting mainly deer, bulls, and wild horses. X-rays On the late evening of November 8, 1895, the end of the day is still a long way off for Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. Although darkness has long since fallen, he is still researching electrical charges in a cathode tube. However, there is a small problem. The light from the nearly airless glass tube dimly illuminates the room, which the physicist finds disturbing. A black cardboard box is supposed to provide a remedy, but suddenly a fluorescent screen brightens up. As the experiments continue, Rotgen's hand gets caught between the fluorescent screen and the tube, and he gazes in disbelief at the outline of the bones in his own hand. Plato the use of charcoal and wood as a means of heating was associated with an unpleasant side effect. A lot of soot was deposited on the wallpaper. But when the use of these materials began to decline, the American company Kutal was confronted with a problem. What to do now with the non-toxic stain remover that used to rub on the walls to remove soot? Well, a woman in the management circle provided the decisive inspiration. Why don't we just turn it into commercial fun for the kids? Tea bags. The fact that we hang our tea bags in hot water these days is actually based on a mistake. To prevent his tea samples from getting mixed up during the crossing from the USA to Europe, Thomas Sullivan packed them in small silk bags. But when they arrived at their destination, the recipients didn't know that it was just a package, which was why they hung the tea, bag and all, in the water. We have Adolf Rambold to thank for his tea bag in the present form. 
In 1929, he invented the double chamber bag made of parchment paper with a staple closure. Teflon Originally, Roy J. Punkett was looking for a refrigerant gas when he unexpectedly made the first Teflon molecules. In an experiment gone awry, the gas then took on a wax-like white powder form. From then on, the foundation stone was laid for the triumphant advance of the plastic. It was used in non-stick frying pans as well as in the construction of the atomic bomb. And with that, we say thank you for watching our video all the way to the end. Feel free to leave us a like and a subscription to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. Before you take a look at the other videos in the credits, we'd like to ask your opinion. Which discovery surprised you the most? And do you know of any other exciting discoveries and inventions that were recorded completely by chance? We are looking forward to your comments.